Hey, Janis here, and you're in the right place if you want to learn about creating line charts in Prezi Design. They're perfect for displaying change over time and visualizing time series data. And with Prezi Design, you can create regular line charts as well as line charts with margins of error. Here's how. In the Prezi Design editor, select Add Chart in the left side toolbar. You'll find the line charts in the sidebar. To add a line chart to your project, hover over its thumbnail and select Insert or drag and drop it onto the canvas. You'll see the chart appear with some placeholder data. Double click on the chart to open the datasheet. The placeholders are meant for you to see the proper data formatting. Enter the time series in column A and then dedicate each following column to the categories you'll be comparing. Type in the values representing each category in the cells opposite of the time series. If you're creating an error margin chart, use column A for the time series. Enter the name of the group you're comparing in column E, then provide the values in column B and the negative and positive error margins in column C and D respectively. To compare the error margin to another group, enter all of the same time series in column A below the existing ones and fill out the other cells in the same way as with the first group. To add your data, you can type it in manually or copy and paste it from an external spreadsheet. You can also select Upload File and upload an Excel or CSV file. Select Add Google Drive document to connect your chart to a Google spreadsheet and ensure live data updates. It's also possible to use a JSON feed URL by selecting Add JSON Feed, as well as source your data from one of the five online databases available from this dropdown. Once you've added the data to your chart, it's time to customize it. Quick tip, to resize the chart, simply hover over one of its sides or corners and click and drag your mouse in any direction. After selecting the chart on the canvas, its editing options will appear in the settings panel on the right. Click on the tabs to access them. Under chart properties, you can choose to display the values on the chart, smoothen the curves of the lines, let others download your data, and more. From the Color tab, you can change the chart's colors, as well as adjust the weight and style of the lines. The Axis and Grid tab makes it possible to adjust the look of the grid, give titles to the axes, adjust the labels, set intervals, and more. Under Fonts, you'll be able to adjust the size and color of the font and change the font itself. Select Advanced Settings to adjust specific text elements. Click on Legend to turn it on or off and adjust its positioning. Use the Tooltips tab to enable or disable them. If you're sharing the chart online, we advise to keep them on for better data readability. Data Format lets you add a prefix and a suffix to your values and make other adjustments to your data. Last but not least, Use the Accessibility tab to add a label and a description to your chart to make it more accessible for the viewers who are using screen readers. If you haven't already, add a title to your chart with one of the text elements available under Add Text. Don't forget to mention the source of your data. Now that the chart's ready, it's time to download it. Access the download page in the top right corner. Here you'll see five download formats. PNG, JPEG and PDF for static downloads as well as a GIF and MP4 option. The last two will come in handy if your line chart has several tabs and you'd like them to play out one by one. The sharing options can also be accessed from the top right corner by selecting Share. You can keep your project private or make it accessible for everyone on the web. Share the link with others for them to view your chart. On the View page, you can access the embed code by selecting Embed under the content. Copy the code and use it on your website for the chart to appear with all of its interactive features intact. That's it! Go to Prezi.com to start creating your own interactive line charts and much more.